Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Now today I have on a new wig and the wig is On Edge by Eva Gabor and it's number SS416. I have the card right here. Let me get it for you. It's tangled up with the other card, but you can see it's Eva Gabor Flex Light. And you can see that it's SS416 or Honey Toast. And this is an interesting color. I like this color. It's really pretty. It's got browns, reds, blondes in it. It's just a really pretty, interesting color. Honey Toast Chestnut Brown Base with multi-dimension tones of medium brown and dark golden brown. So it's really, really pretty, pretty wig. I'm gonna turn around and show you the back of it. You can see that it comes down really long. It has a three inch nape in the back. And you can see how long it does come down. By the way, if you don't have one of these combs, you need to get one. This is just a little basic teasing comb. You can get them in any drugstore. Make it only for your wigs and it will serve you well. It really will. It'll help you with styling a whole lot better than just one of these. So just two, two different kinds of combs. Now I have clipped this particular style to the side like this with one of my little mini clips that I keep around because it got in my face really bad and I'll take the clip out and I'll show you what it mean what I mean it gets in my face really bad it just wants to basically I've got the ear tabs positioned correctly and it just wants to it just I don't really care for it like that because um, whenever I look down it wants to fall in my face I like to do that with do this with these particular wigs and I know a lot of people don't do that, but it's personal styling, and that's what I like to do. Let's see if I can get that crunched in there really good. So that it, you know, it almost looks like a braid right there. It looks really, really pretty, and it, it styles the wig nicely. See, it looks almost like a braid right there. But the rest of the wig, you can come out with this if you like. Or you can use my little comb, which I really like for styles like this. You can see how pretty and shiny that is, how pretty it is. It's really kind of an edgy, it's called On Edge, and it's really kind of an edgy style. Um, it's lace front, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is lace right there, a lace front, which I'm not too fond of. And it's got a monofilament part right over there, but you can part it any way you want to since it's monofilament. You can do it different ways. It's called a shattered below the chin bob. That's what it's called. A shattered below the chin bob where it comes down really long, right like that. You can see that. They've got these very long pieces in the front that's supposed to frame your face, and they do. They frame the face. It's very edgy. It's a very fashion-forward type hairdo. It's got a personal fit cap, which means that um, it's going to adjust to the size of my head. So that's really, really helpful. The front is seven inches. The crown is eight and a half inches. The sides are eight and a half inches. The back is six and a half. And the nape is three inches. The weight is three ounces. It is ready to wear right out of the box and just needs finger styling. So what do you think? Let me know in the description box below. Is this one of your favorites or can you do without this particular hairdo? I kind of like it. I really do, in a weird way. I really kind of like it. I think it's kind of fun to wear. It's just really, really straight. 
really straight. There's no curl, no wave, nothing. I mean, it's as straight as a board. It reminds me of my own hair. My own hair is just about this straight. It doesn't curl. Well, it, well it, my hair does curl. It curls really easily, but um, I don't ever do that. I just wear it straight, my own hair. But you can see all the lights and darks. I'm especially um, excited about this particular color. I love the color. I think the color is really, really pretty. I'm not too crazy about the uh, the lace front. Not too crazy about it. I can still see the lace there, and I don't like that. I mean, you can actually see the lace right there. My other lace fronts are not like that, and I don't particularly, I don't like that. But those are just particulars. I'm gonna take it off now and turn it inside out for you and let you see the inside of it. And you can see when I turn it over just how much lace front we're talking about. Okay, that's for the monofilament part right there. And then you can see right here how much lace we're talking about quite a bit. Look at all this in here. Quite a bit of lace front. And it does have Velcro closures. There they are right there, Velcro closures. And the ear tabs, all velvet lined. And the back has a nice velvet um, comfort strip as well. And it's all open weave, um, closed in the front with the lace. And this part here is for the monofilament. So anyways, there she is. You can see she's got the lace front. You can see that right there can see that lace front right there. That's what you're dealing with. But it's pretty well done. There's hair and, and stuff coming out of it, so it's it looks pretty natural. And then you can see the lights and darks in this honey toast color. Honey toast. Beautiful lights and darks. I like to hold it up like that because I think it's easier to see the color. I love the, the colors is something about these are soft, these are Eva Gabor's soft shades. This particular color. It's her soft shade. So anyways, I'm gonna put her back on. See how well we could do this. This is on edge by Eva Gabor. Really easy to style. There's not much to doing this. And um, I really don't care for it like that. I almost want to put some bangs in here. What do you think? Should I cut bangs into it? I could. It would be a whole lot of cutting, but I could do it. Now let's see, I wonder if you can change the part and make it a center part. Since it's monofilament, you should be able to, but there's just one problem, all the hair on the front. So it tends to want to be parted on the side because of all the hair in the front. And I tend to want to just take it back like this and get it back out of my face because I hate the hair falling in my face. I really am not a fan of that. Well, you get the, you get the idea. But you can, when you do that, trouble is, there, that's a little better. You can, you can toy with it and play with it and make it so where you can put the little clip over here if you like. Or you can just wear it down like it comes.
I'm just toying with it right now to see which way it'll go because I don't know. I just got this wig. Well, that seems to be one of the over here. Something like that would probably do pretty well. And that just pretty well looks like hair coming out of my head. That doesn't really, the, the lace is just right there. I think, it, I think it hides it pretty well. I think it does. Now, I did get this wig on sale. This particular color was on extreme sale. So, Ordinarily, this goes for pretty expensive, this particular wig, but I thought I would get it for the fun of it because um, I got it for less than $100, and I thought it would be fun to play with and experiment with and see what I could do. So I'm still working on it. I'm wondering if this part here will go back, um, if I can find a blue one. I'm looking for one of my blue. There it is. My blue clips. When you're putting these little clips in, you have to make sure that you're grabbing all of the hair and not just a little bit of it. So there's some for that side. And there's one for that side. So that is altogether possible. Now let's see if we can't do this a different way. second. Let's see how that looks in the back. Okay, that kind of grabbed right into my scalp. I'll loosen that up a bit. And push it to the side like that. So, Yep, there's another way that you can wear this particular hairstyle, just like this. Where you have the little clip in the back. That's another way to wear it if you, if you like. Now I'm wondering about hair bands. See, that doesn't want to be there. That wants to be there. Let's see about hair bands. Let's take a square band headband. There's one right here. So I almost fell off my chair. And put that one on there and see how well that looks. What do you think of that? That's another way to wear it hairband. So, just another way to do this particular hairdo. So, it can be done that way. And you probably can get the hairband to keep the hair back. This is a square band hairband, by the way. at least most of it. That's another way to wear the hairband. A little closer to the front. Like that. You see the 
Can you see the lace in the front there? I can. So. But you can see how this is beginning to fall on my face. So when I lean forward, it does that. So I would have to put that piece back there and see if that would work. I'm not sure. I mean, you could do both if you had the right color little clip, like a black one or something. I have a black one. I just don't. It's in my box. I think that's too much. Might be. But it does the job of keeping the hair out of the face. So, anyways, this is the on edge hairstyle. I'm just playing it around, playing around with it. I haven't put it on, I haven't touched it up until the moment you saw me. I love the color. The honey toast color is beautiful. I really love the color. I'm excited about that part. I think I do prefer it just like this. Good for now. So anyways, this is the On Edge by Eva Gabor. Now I want to talk to you about something else. Jesus is Lord. There is no other God and no other way to the Father but through him. In Romans 10, 9 and 10 in the Bible, it says that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God rose, raised him from the dead, you will be saved, for it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. And it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. So trust God today. You'll never regret it. Just ask him into your heart, ask him to forgive you of your sins. Profess him as Lord in Jesus Profess it before men. Profess it before your family. Profess him before everyone that he is Lord. And you will be saved. And that's my story for today. This is the On Edge by Eva Gabor. And I'm really getting into her. I kind of like her. Um, I love the color. The color is just, to me, beautiful. It's very, very close to my own bio hair, I guess. Closer. It's not, it's a little bit darker, darker than my bio hair, but it's still cute in a pretty little wig. So that's my story for today and I'll see you tomorrow.